cholestasis, especially cholestasis of pregnancy, it's thought to be there's some dysfunction in the liver and the gallbladder that start to build up these things called bile acids. Bile is something that's normally secreted or produced in the liver and gallbladder and then put into the GI tract. So in this case, it seems that there's a stasis, so it's not normally secreted, so these acids build up in the body. And often one of the ways where it's accumulated is in the skin, and so you have this significant itching. The thing that we especially look out for is women who have it on their palms and their soles, which is a very odd place to have itching. It's not extremely common. There are certain predispositions for certain women, especially if there's a strong family history, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. People of Northern European descent are considered at higher risk. There's also interesting, uh, extremely high risk of it found in Chilean women. So there are certain ethnicities that are much more predisposed and have a higher chance of getting it compared to others. It's not necessarily uh, predictive, but all women are at risk for it, so we that's why we counsel women and always ask about symptoms. And this is especially an issue for childbirth because there's an association, an unclear association, unfortunately, with stillbirth related to this, so that we have to watch those pregnancies extremely closely. And as well as the itching in some cases for some women can be extremely debilitating if it's not treated. These women can feel like they're scratching all the time, they can't sleep at night. You're already adding the fact just being pregnant, and then you're adding something else, you know, some other symptom that just sometimes cannot be well treated. It can occur outside of pregnancy, but it doesn't have the same issues or risks to people because we don't clearly understand exactly what increases the risk of stillbirth, but it, it, it does dramatically increase, and so that's where it makes it a high-risk issue to watch the pregnancy much more closely. For treating the itching, usually we put women on a medication called Ursodiol, which is a medication that often helps lower the bile acids. For a fair number of women, it does help their itching improve, but it's not necessarily meant for that. So if women do still have itching in regards to that, we have to put them on antihistamines, so sometimes being on things like Benadryl or other things called things like Atarax, so we put them on anti-itching medications. Invariably, very rarely do we have to give women steroids um, to treat it, but that's a very rare case. With a clear diagnosis of cholestasis of pregnancy, we usually recommend delivery at about 37 weeks. In some more severe cases, which we have to look at levels of the bile acids, um, we talk about delivery earlier, just because of this significantly increased risk of stillbirth that isn't well caught sometimes on the antenatal testing that we recommend where we have women come in for ultrasounds as well as non-stress tests or being put on a heart rate monitor and balancing that while we're trying to get to 39 weeks for all pregnancies. The risks can be low at 37 weeks um, if the baby was born then, so we have to balance those risks versus unfortunately the very terrible outcome of a stillbirth.